Hey guys, welcome back. So, the way that things are looking right now, I don't think that we're gonna stop wearing masks anytime soon. So I thought, you know, why not make this a little activity and why don't we just customize some face masks because we're gonna be in this for the long run so might as well look cute while doing it am i right so i went to a craft store yesterday and i bought some fabric paints and i bought some iron-on patches i got these face masks for like seven dollars i think at walmart most of the face masks that i've gotten are too big for my face and they'll have like an opening right here which will allow air and like particles and bacteria to get into your mask which is obviously what you want to prevent so if you're looking for a mask that actually covers your face this one covers mine hopefully it'll work for you no this is not sponsored um just human being to human being sharing a tip for you i don't really have a plan on what exactly i want to create on these face masks but i figured i have five of them so one of them is bound to look cute i don't even know if i'm gonna do all five or if i'm just gonna do like two or three I think we'll do three. The directions on these fabric paints say to pre-wash whatever fabric you're gonna paint on before doing this. I just read that like two minutes ago. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not doing that. Here's mask number one. Now the question is, what do we do with her? I have these two iron-on patches. They are so cute. A little Silence of the Lambs moment. So it looks like there's a butterfly on my nose. Honestly, it's kind of cute. Does it look cool or does it look stupid? Let's see this one. Ooh, this one's cute. Okay, maybe I can paint like a little sun over here and then like maybe like some grass. So I guess the first thing I should do is iron that patch on. I haven't done this in years, so I don't even know how you're supposed to do this. How do you know when it's on? <laughs> I haven't used one of these in so long. I think you just like know, like when it gets hot, right? Oh, it's getting hot, it's getting hot. I'm gonna lay this as flat as possible. This is to place a fabric over top of it. Guys, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm doing. Can you tell? Oh shit. I'm like literally burning a hole through this. Oh my god, why is it getting so hot? You guys help! <laughs> so here's the mask. It adds just like a little extra something, you know? Me and my plants. I do think that it looks a little bit plain, but I feel like I might mess this up if I paint something else on it. So, with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and take this off and set it aside. And then once I paint my other two masks, I feel like I'll have grasped some sort of knowledge on how to make it look good, hopefully. With this one, I think I'm just gonna like throw some paint onto the fabric itself. And then with a paintbrush, I'm gonna like blend the colors together. I'm feeling more ballsy. It has a pretty high chance of looking really cool. And if it doesn't, like, oh well, it's not, <laughs> not the big, that, blip, 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 blip. <laughs> Y'all, I can't talk today. Lately, it feels like I've just been stumbling on my words. I, like, when I get on camera, I feel, like, out of breath. Like I am right now, I feel like I can't talk. I don't know, like, I think I'm just, like, really anxious these days, like, all the time. Hi, I have my second angle right here because I'm a professional and I love you and I want to give you the best content that I possibly can. So, I think that I'm going to start with, I'm just going to start with the pink. I don't even think that you're supposed to use fabric paint this way, but I'm going to do it. I mean, that already looks pretty cool if you ask me. That looks really cool. My serotonin levels just spiked from looking at that. Whoa. Okay. Just gonna trust the process. So in other news, today I just learned that apparently uh, Trump is telling hospitals to stop sending COVID-19 data results to the CDC. For what reason, you might ask? 
I have no idea. Like, what possibly could be his motive for doing that? Like, how are you going to tell the CDC, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention? Nah, you can't have the data results. I just don't feel like giving them to you because I'm a fucking idiot. Yet another reason why I think we're going to be in this longer than we ever should have. I think that this looks really cool. I think it just needed like a base first. And then I can do this cute little. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Okay, so I just finished painting on the mask. I can't really like move it yet. Well, I guess I'm doing it right now, but I'll show you a better uh, close up when it's completely dry. But I think it looks really cute. It's giving me like um, God is a woman vibes, <laughs> like Ariana Grande, God is a woman vibes, acrylic paint, milky pastel. Like that's what it's giving me. It's giving me like she's an artist vibes. Okay, so. On to my last mask. I really want to incorporate this butterfly. These iron-on patches are really doing me favors. I'm thinking to do like a little butterfly flower garden moment. Honestly, this is where I might fuck things up. So I'm just going to take this green color and I'm going to paint a tiny stem. What is this? Okay, I may have a way to turn this around. But it's a big risk. Let's test her out. That flower was not working out. I have been real quiet since I started painting this mask and I'm very aware of that. So let's chat. Let's talk. Here's my take on time spent in quarantine. Since the beginning of quarantine, I have felt like this time is very valuable, it's very precious, and if we are healthy and staying at home, we should be working on things to better ourselves and to learn new things. If you watched my quarantine with me vlog, I think, I don't know who the fuck that bitch is, <laughs> because she was so productive, she was going on morning runs, she was, what else was she do? She was reorganizing her closet. She was doing the most. And I don't know who she is. I don't know when I fell off, <laughs> but I did. And I fell off hard. I am barely working out these days. Dude, I went to the gym one time. I went to the gym one time. The next day I go back and they're closed because the governor, um, issued another like stay at home order and like issued all the bars and the restaurants to close down which i love i'm in full support of that but it's just like really like i go for one day and all these people like since things started opening all these people are going out going to gyms going to restaurants going to clubs not that i want to go to those places but it's just like i went to better myself to the gym for one time and then the next day they close on me <laughs> So yeah, uh, at the beginning of this, I was being super productive and I was getting things done. Um, and then I fell off a little bit and I stopped working out. I honestly, I kind of fell into like a little depressive episode. And I want to share this because I feel like this is something that should be normalized and should be talked about when it happens and you shouldn't feel ashamed or embarrassed. And I was really sad. <laughs> I, I was really sad and wow that took a turn I was really sad and I um I'm still kind of going through this rough patch right now I'm starting to pay attention to my body and my feelings and my needs and um I've been suppressing that my whole life which is why it's backfiring on me now and uh I'm using this time to to deal with things on a brighter note i'm also cooking 
I'm so proud of myself because I've been learning so many new meals, so many new dishes and side dishes to make. And I'm so proud of myself because I've always wanted to be a good cook and know how to actually make myself a good healthy meal. And uh, my mom never taught me how to do that. She really didn't prepare me for my adult life. And so my 20s are about figuring that out. I think a lot of people's 20s are about figuring life out, but I'm realizing that that's what my 20s are about. They're confusing and they're about learning and they're about character growth. But I am proud of all the improvements that I've made on myself. I've been journaling a lot. I've been working on something. I've been working on a project that I've put off for so long. I've been dreading it because it has to do with me coming to terms with um, some past issues and so that's been really hard. <laughs> so to lighten the mood, um, let me know if you guys want to see an updated like quarantine vlog. I feel like that vlog that I posted was very representative of how I was at the time but it's definitely not on that level anymore. I feel like I have a whole different routine going on. So let me know in the comments if you want to see what I've been doing lately and follow me around for a day. We'll see. I'll probably end up making one. That sounds like a fun idea. I just finished this mask and it's my favorite one. Doesn't that look so cool? I'm definitely getting high from these fumes, but I love it. So I guess that's all for this video. There's not really much else to do um, except let these babies dry and then uh, put them to use throughout the week. If you guys like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you aren't already. Make sure to turn on my notification bell to be notified every single time I upload. Talk to me in the comments, please. I'm bored. I'm lonely. Validate me. I'm joking, but I'm also serious because um, I need more engagement on my videos. So if you could help me with that, that'd be awesome. So leave a comment down below if you're a real one. As always, I love you guys very much and I will see you on the next one. Bye.